Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 5 of Forza Horizon. I don't exactly remember what happens when you get a new wristband, so let's find out. It might be a cutscene. Let's see. Congratulations, yeah, kind of. a Close enough. wristband? This opens up a lot of new events for you. You're moving up in the world. I guess there's not actually really a, much of a cutscene. All right, so there we go. We have some green level events unlocked, but I just debated you because we're not actually going to be doing that yet. We're gonna be doing something else and I forgot which one it is that I wanna do first. So I have to look at it on a document real quick. Hold on. Uh, all right, I know which one it is. So if we go to the map here, I'm still in this raptor for some reason. I think it's, is it this one? It is this one. We're going to do the Horizon High Noon Balloon Showcase event for this episode. I know it's going to be kind of short, uh, but that's just what happens because I like to sort things out too much, probably. And this is the first one that you unlock when you, get, when you reach 225th place on popularity. So I guess we'll drive there and I will see you when I get there. That is a really big place. I don't think I call it a house. I think it's a golf course. It doesn't look like a golf course. I think I saw a golf cart. But let us take on... Oh, Lord, what's happening here? <laughs> Anyways, let's take on our second showcase event. <laughs> Racing a hot air balloon? Tell me you're not excited. And hit the LZ before he does, you'll win the car. I'm never excited. But... Anyways, uh, we are going to be using the Audi Quattro, the 80s Audi Quattro, for a race against a high or a, a hot air balloon. I read high noon balloon. And yeah, we get to keep the car if we win. So let's go ahead and take care of our second showcase. And I think, if I'm right, these cars that you get from these are not able to be purchased. So you have to do these showcase events to unlock these cars and be able to use them in the game. I think. I have actually no clue. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But that is what I think. So let's go ahead and get started. Racing a hot air balloon. Oh boy. This can only end well. Look at them hot air balloons. I'm going to take a photo of them. All right. Let's continue our race here. Actually. So yeah, basically just another point-to-point -point race like the first one, uh, which the first showcase event was within the first episode. It was like part of the prologue, kind of. So I figured I'd keep it as its own, or as that part of that. Uh, but yeah, we get to actually race and actually do a not-required showcase event. Because you could just go through the game without doing any of these. But for people like me that are masochistic and want to 100% the game, uh, yeah, you kind of have to do these. They are part of 100% in completing the game. Off-roading. I'm sure I'll probably end up using this car again at some point during this Let's Play. I don't know when, to be honest with you, but I would assume so, at least. Might come in handy for some future events or something. I do have a lot of money, though. I don't think I'll need to, like, reuse cars, like, really at all, to be honest with you. But uh, our goal is to pass the pink and white hot air balloon. Pink and white, we must pass. Speed trap. Go! I lost, actually. Oh no, I didn't lose. What the fuck? How did I? How did I win? How did I win by 0.7 seconds? I thought it was that balloon I was chasing after. I guess not. Huh. Okay. Well, there we go. There's a, another showcase done. Great driving. The crowd loves and we're almost to 500,000 credits. You can keep the car. Well done. Pog, I love Audi Quattro. I can finally not drive the... Uh, not drive the Raptor. Cool. And that is basically that. And yeah, because I'm stupid, these episodes will be short because of the length of the events. 
and I want to do everything in kind of a specific way, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and leave that there, but you know what? Let's go find this barn find down here. I don't remember exactly where it is. I think it might be like over here. Turn around when we'll go find a barn find. So. We'll, uh, hey, oh, speaking of barn finds. Oh yay. So yeah, barn finds. There was a barn find in there that I got already. Um, but yeah, I will, I guess, be back whenever we actually end up at hours, the location. Or close to it, at least. Oh shit. Oh god. Alright, we're getting close. I guess that will be the start of this clip section, whatever the hell you want to call it. I think this would be a faster way, but probably not, considering it probably was thinking, oh, this road is curved, therefore it might take longer. I don't know. Doesn't matter. There might not be another chance for me to drive on this specific road in this Let's Play. Who knows? Uh, but I think the barn is actually, like, right there. If I remember right. I do remember right. My, 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 will you look at her? The things people leave to luck in a barn. This is the Bugatti EB110 Supersport. Built to resurrect one of the most evocative brands the world has seen. Back in the 90s, this was one of the most technically advanced cars that had ever been created. Wow. My car's damaged for some reason. Alright, so our Bugatti is being restored. And you know what? Before we leave this, uh, let's go to the map, get rid of that. We'll actually go to the garage, because we have some cars to pick up that have been finished restoring. And it's actually kind of interesting looking at the, uh, like the status. So we have a couple of cars that are ready to collect, which I will do real quick. Oh boy, you're looking at one cool classic. The 1971 Plymouth is a car to be respected. Don't even think about pulling any stunts in her. No stunts? What do you mean? I have to get skill points somehow. Can I zoom out? I guess not. Uh, I do not want to get in the car. But we have collected it. Uh, this is probably going to be a fun editing section because of copyrighted music that's playing in the background right now. Ain't she pretty? I used to want one of these so bad it hurt. But who wouldn't want this piece of Mercedes history? You treat it with total respect, okay? Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. 3 Hundo SL has been acquired. And I think, I don't remember if this game does it or not. I know the newer ones do. But if you go to Barn Finds here. Uh, well, she's not finished yet. But I okay. swear you'll be the first to know. It is newer games that will tell you like, oh, we're sanding down the body for paint or whatever. Uh, it gives like a specific detail of like what part of the restoration progress it is. Not in this game though. And that leaves us five more barn finds to find. I think I actually have at least one more on the map that I can get. And I guess that will conclude this episode. We'll leave the garage. And I hope you all enjoyed this thing stuff. Thing stuff? And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.